welcome. Welcome to the garage of joy. <laughs> this is the Chops' garage build. So we're in the garage. What, why are we in the garage? What is the point? What are we doing in here? <laughs> why aren't we riding? Well, first of all, it's the winter. It's cold, it's icy. It's time to start fiddling. What I tend to do every winter with my bikes is I, I need to entertain myself. I need to do something. Yes, I've got the Enduros this year from KTM. Thanks, KTM. But I, I, I want to tinker. I'm a tinkerer. I love to tinker. Oh, we should have had a shave. I'm going to do three or four videos on modding this bike. We're going to go up to Dynajet, we're going to fit a power commander. We're going to fit a Rottweiler airbox intake to it, which I've got in here. Well, let me just show you. So this is my business, this basically. So you've got a dirty, dirty great airbox, which replaces the standard airbox. So we're going to go up to Dynajet with that lot fitted. We're going to test it with it's got the Acapovic on this as well. Where is it? There it is. Gorgeous. Maybe 15 brake with that lot on. I don't know yet. We'll see. We've also got some other goodies to go on. We've got various crash protection bits from R&G. Dividing me a few bits. We've got this Oberon slave cylinder, which I'm looking forward to fitting. I might do that today. Mm, maybe. Rad guards, all sorts of stuff to go on the baby. So, um, I think we get cracking. Can you see? You like the bike, by the way. That's the wife's bike, not mine. Don't get any ideas, it's, it's not mine. It's time for your close up. So, we've got these babies. So, the idea being, they go on the side casings like so. So just two uh, two bolts to whip out. I think we just bolt this stuff on. Let's just let's just bolt it on. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting too much difficulty to fit this. There we go, first one fit hard. Oh, yeah. There should be another one in my box of delights. Yeah. There we go, it's one for the other side. Get it started. I like that, they're, they're pretty. There we go, that's the, the first part fitted. That is the casings on. Beautiful, both sides, casings fitted. Fitted. You see it, you see it, you see it, you see it. Yeah, so pleased with those, those are really good. What I thought we'd do now, let's just look at the other goodies we've got to go on. Now, I mentioned the Rottweiler intake. I wish I could say Rottweiler better. Rottweiler. 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 <laughs> that's the intake. That's the big foam. And I don't want to open it because I don't want to let all the, all the crap into the sealed bag. But that, that's, that's the new airbox. With basically a big foam filter on the top of it. So we've got that. We've got the pair removal system that like the air recirculation system this is the the rottweiler kit to remove that we have already got it on the bike already but it's got some fancy rottweiler logos so we have that uh we've also got a sticker pack from rottweiler yeah whatever um rng we've got a radiator guard to go on we've got front sliders to go on we've also got some of these um dirt buster hand guards in carbon i'm not sure i'm really not sure about handguards on on the 1290 
I really don't know. I'm going to try them. I'm going to try them and see what I think. But if I'm not keen, they may end up in, in a giveaway at some point. Of course, we've got the Oberon slave cylinder, which I mentioned before. That, that should be... I'm hoping that will improve the clutch feel a little bit. And also, in these boxes, these two boxes here... Hang on, let me put you down a minute. In these boxes, what we have in here is the Rottweiler <laughs> intakes. So these are the intakes, the carb intakes. I'm not sure if these are identical or if there's a left and a right. They both say TVS 80 on, so I presume... It says on the box TVS 8059. Yeah, so they're identical by the look of it. So I'm really looking forward to testing out this, this Rottweiler kit, but that's not going to happen until we go to Dynajet. I'm not going to be fitting the Rottweiler kit until we go to Dynajet, which will probably be the next episode of this garage build, I suspect. So forget about these. So what else is left to do? I think what we do is bolt on the... I should get a shit up there. I've really got to sort that out. There's bolt on the slider, there's bolt on the rad guard. I may put on the Rottweiler gubbins. Rottweiler. Hmm, Let's do it. That is actually pretty nice. G. Yeah, baby. I'll oh, take the bolts at the bottom. And I guess just a zip tie around the top, is it? So we take that, that goes on like that. And I'm guessing you just replace the bolts like so. Easy. That looks factually, factually fit. Let's have a look at instructions. That's <laughs> so what you do, you do the job, then you read the instructions to make sure you've done it right. To fit the radio card to the bike, cut the foam strip provided. Oh God, here we go. Ben? Missed. There we are. Rad guard's fitted, how quick was that? Absolute piece of cake. That's the uh, Radguard fitted. Radguard fitted. Let's put the uh, let's put the uh, wheel bobbins thingies on. So I don't make the same mistake. I may actually read the instructions this time. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Look. Next track. Next track. We're not having that. I told you, I'm not messing about here. Let me in. Ben? Yes. So, let's have a quick look-ski at the instructions, because on that, on that sort of guy. So what we've got in here? Mm, I, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I've done it before. You take that out, you replace it with this one. Yeah, these come with all spacers and everything. They're, they're really nice, these. Through there. It's like that. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that, that, that was very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <sighs> Still got the Dalek on. So there we go. Rad is fitted. Rad guards fitted. Sorry. We've got the. Oh, my chain's out. The big one now is the slave cylinder. Do I attempt that now or do I attempt that later? This is the question. That's the stock slave cylinder. That's what we've got to get off. Now the big question when you do this is what type of oil does your clutch take? Clutch. Clutch and grooms. Hydraulic motor X, hydraulic fluid 75. It doesn't say hydraulic fluid, are they talking about the clutch? That's the only hydraulic fluid on the bike. Motor X, hydraulic fluid 75. God damn it. Hydraulic fluid 75. Should we do it? Should we go for it? 
that sits on there like like so and that bolts on hmm that's nice isn't it the eight millimeter ball bearing supplied must be installed in the open end of the piston and retained with a small amount of grease fire fitted before prior fitting to your ktm okay so yeah that, that ball bearing goes in here hence what the grease is for from the being with body eyes basically what happens with this you, you pull the clutch and this actuates a rod which pushes through right way through the engine to your to, to actuate your clutch on the other side of the engine so if we take that off oh it's had a chain gunk on it that's the rod you see that pushes through so we're basically do, doing away with this whole thing little secret just check it's been run off is to prime them up to prime them prior to fitting work the fluid into the slave and then it'll make it much easier when it comes to bleeding mister my family will pay cash whatever ransom you're asking for they'll pay it Some tip for you top tip this just doing that wiggling the piston and it's taking the fluid in yeah she's taking it she's taking it all it's full it's getting messy. Oh Jesus. So that slave is now full of hydraulic fluid. As soon as we undo this, things are gonna get messy. Oh, it's dripping all down out there. Take that out. Fresh. Oh, you gotta do this completely, aren't we? Uh, uh, on that. Why didn't I put, why did I not put bloody, get the right position, that way around. That's nipped now. Oh. Oh. So that slave is full. So this should be relatively easy to bleed now, hopefully. Oh God, covered in hydraulic fluid. How's that look? That's looking bling a ding ding. If you use a, something like that to tighten, you, you can't really over tighten it. As I say, I don't use a torque wrench. I tend to just feel those small little 10 mil bolts like that. They don't need to be that tight, not into aluminium. So we have the slave cylinder fitted. We have a clutch, which is actually semi-operational without even doing any bleeding which is quite unbelievable the thing about these clutches you get a lot of shit the clutch fluid gets dirty very very quickly on these so i'm gonna have a bleed through anyway baby wipes. i love baby wipes baby wipes are so good for this sort of thing you know my preferred brand is Lidl's. <laughs> little baby wipes are absolutely brilliant you know baby wipes have actually got some sort of brake cleaner in them some sort of brake cleaner in baby wipes for cleaning babies' bottoms. Do you believe it? They're not just good on shit. So if we now uh, loosen that little bad boy, okay, pull the lever in, crack him off, close it, pump some more, hold the lever in, crack him off. Pump, open. Oh. Um, oh my God, it's just going there. Oh, my bloody bleed thing's not tight enough. Baby wipes to the rescue. Little bastard. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Just done this in the first place. Tell you what I do, that's so, sh shitty that fluid I'm gonna suck it I'll suck it out I'll suck that shit right out of there look at that horrible it's not working you can do it slow you can do it fast but leave the lever pulled in when you open the nipple that's the important thing there we go it's coming back now that's it 
That's it, the clutch is working now. That's it. It's right there. Let's give it another squirt. There you go, I can feel it right at the end. I can feel it there. I don't enjoy messing with fluids. <laughs> uh.